All right. So a new poll just came out. A new Emerson poll just came out showing Bernie Sanders beating Donald Trump in a head-to-head matchup and leading in the Democratic primary, virtually tied with Joe Biden. Bernie Sanders beats Donald Trump. Is this news to any of you guys? It ain't news to me. I'm not surprised at all. Matter of fact, look how the others do. Okay? Look how Warren does. (laughs) Look how Biden does. (laughs) And look how Buttigieg does. So Buttigieg loses by four points, four percentage points. Biden loses by two. Warren is tied, and Bernie Sanders is the only one who actually beats Trump. Now, of course, if we take into account the margin of error, I mean, these could go either way, but this is not the first poll, nor is it the only poll that we are referencing in a, in a more larger scheme when it comes to head-to-head matchups, when we talk about Bernie beating Trump. We know that Bernie beats Trump. We saw this stuff in the last election. <laughs> this ain't news. <laughs> we saw this four years ago. These head-to-head matchups. And we saw the exact same data. And by the way, it was actually mu- the difference which was starker, I would say. So this ain't news to none of us. We all know that Bernie beats Trump. Margin of error, sure. But we have seen many, 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 many polls. And Bernie Sanders is the only one who consistently beats Trump's ass. Let's take a look down here. So the entire Democratic primary, all right? Look at this. Biden and Sanders tied 27% each. Okay, Warren trailing at 20%. Buddha judge at 7%. Now, this is pretty good, okay? Because you always see people, you always see the mainstream media talking about, you know, Bernie Sanders. Oh my God, he should drop out. Bernie Sanders is done. Bernie Sanders doesn't have the same flame that he had in 2016. People are used to Bernie Sanders. There are more fresh people than Bernie Sanders. All this garbage, okay? All that garbage. What do I have to say about this? You know, it still irks me that people still refer to, uh, to Joe Biden as the front runner. I mean, in what capacity? Just because he has name recognition and he's doing well in some polls? That's, that's not enough. Look, look at how much money that guy raised. I mean, he's being outraised by a weasel named Booty Juggalo who's polling in single digits. How is he the front runner if he's being outraised by three other candidates? Who to judge Warren and Sanders? How is he the front runner when no one shows up shows up to his events? How is he the front runner when he's in the middle of like two two three different scandals right now? Get the hell out of here, man! The only thing that he has going for him is a bit of name recognition, because you know he was Obama's VP, but he is not literally the front runner. So, going back to this poll, you know this means. Again, I, I'm, I'm not like a, a poll truther. I don't really care for polls. Uh, you know, I, I look where the money's going. I look how many people are showing up rallies. This is real information because those things imply action. Okay? When people are giving you their money, when people are, are actually going outside and coming to a, a rally to see you, that is tangible. Okay? Polls don't really indicate that much. They could go either way. And that reminds me of the day of the, the election last, um, last, last time in 2016. You guys remember the front page of the New York Times? They forecast 85% chance that Hillary would win. <laughs> so it's garbage. But anyway, but anyway, the director himself of Emerson polling, look what he says here. He says that Biden and Sanders continue to hold their bases, which should concern Warren as she has waited for one of the front runners to slip these past months, yet their support seems to be crystallizing. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. I don't see Bernie Sanders' support going anywhere. I mean, it's ridiculous to even think that it would. But, you know, as, as the, the race is progressing, people are waking up, the polls are becoming a bit more clear, and I, I don't think that, you know, Buttigieg and Warren are going to do that much better in the future, because you guys remember that Warren, she's been surging for a while now. We've seen this is the trend for the last two months that Warren has been doing pretty good in the polls. Ma- matter of fact, she's been beating Bernie in a lot of polls, right? She's been coming in second place. But man, the more gaffes Biden does, the more Warren does, and people see through her her bull crap, like with Medicare for all. <laughs> I mean that that is a whole debacle in itself. We're we're gonna see Bernie Sanders holding on if not going upwards. But anyway, I just want to point out something that's really funny here. (laughs) If you look at the end, 
right here at the end of this this chart <laughs> someone else is polling better than john delaney and booker and steyer and, and i mean that's that's pretty hilarious okay honestly why are these clowns even still here you know bennett patrick bullock i i had to look these people up again like i completely forgot who these morons are williamson oh yeah that's marianne the crackhead who is sestac i don't even know what that is Man, th these, these people are a bunch of clowns, and they really need to drop the hell out, okay? They really need to drop the hell out. But anyway, I want to look at, I want to show you guys a bit more about uh, the data from this poll, okay? Because I think it's very interesting to, to analyze the other opinions of the people who were polled. So look at what they say here, all right? Sanders continues to hold a strong lead with younger voters in the primary. No shit. <laughs> Among voters under 50, Sanders received 37% support, followed by Warren with 22%, Biden with 15, and Yang with 7. <laughs> I mean, Biden is polling at 15% with young people, man. I mean, this is. Dude. What does that say about you? You are so out of touch. It's not even an ageist thing because Bernie Sanders is older than you, and he's polling like three times better with young people. So it's nothing to do with your age. It just says how crappy you are, okay? That's how crappy Joe Biden is. Bernie Sanders is older than you, and he's way more popular with young people. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Among voters 50 and over, Biden continues to lead with 44% support. Of course he does. Of course he does. Warren with 16, Sanders with 13, Buttigieg with 12. Okay, that's maybe within a margin of error even. So that's irrelevant. As we know, as usual, Biden is popular with older voters because, you know, how can I put this nicely? Uh, they're not feeling the burn because they're not needing the burn as much as we are. And they don't see as clearly as we do that. Okay, we need to overhaul this entire system. It's messed up. All right. They, they're not feeling nor seeing the need for the burn. But hopefully they will be enlightened soon enough. Okay. Hopefully, Bernie Sanders will illuminate their, their vision and they will see more clearly and they will be feeling the burn. But you can't beat Bernie Sanders when it comes to young people, man. Come on. I mean, e even when you look at the Warren supporters, I would, I would really uh, think that, I mean, I, we know that her demographic is like 70% white, but I would think that these, uh, the remainder of the young people who support her, how much percent is it? 22%. I would say some of those are ex-Hillary supporters, right? Because, I mean, Hillary's not running now, so... Where, who, where did those people go? They go to Warren. And maybe some people who got duped. Okay, some people who are progressives who think that, oh, okay, well, you know, I like Bernie and I like Warren, but I like Warren maybe a little bit more. And they're not too astute. Okay, they don't act, maybe they're, they're not too, you know, aware of the differences. We're, we're junkies, man. We're political junkies. So we understand the differences. We can see them pretty clearly. But, you know, to the average person, it's not that clear. Elizabeth Warren is a great trickster. She's a wolf in sheep's clothing. She knows how to talk the talk, you know? So that's what I, 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 would, I would assume they, uh, they are. And anyway, over here, voters were also asked how much respect they have for the police. Now, that's an interesting question. That is an interesting question. Biden supporters are found to have the most respect for police. 65% <laughs> of Biden supporters said they respect the police a great deal. Okay, now let's contrast that with Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Only 22% said they have great respect for the police. You know why this doesn't surprise me, man? Again, because young people are more tuned in to what's going on. Young people use social media. Young people see the injustices that are being committed towards people of color, that are being committed towards protesters, you know, at Occupy Wall Street, at Standing Rock. They see the systemic oppression that happens towards people of color and towards political dissidents, people who want to stand up to the establishment. They know what's going on. They are aware. That's why they don't have much compassion or respect for tools of the establishment, a.k.a. the police. That's what I gauge from this. Okay. Now, as usual, Sanders holds a lead among Hispanic or Latino voters with 36% support. I say as usual because this is a trend since the last election. We know that Bernie Sanders is really popular amongst Latinos. And they always accuse Bernie Sanders of being, of not polling well with people of color. Well, how, how do you explain that he's the most popular candidate with Latino and Hispanic voters then? Are they not people of color? Why are you excluding them from that demographic? Are you stupid or something? 
pendejo. And look, then the other thing here is that Biden is actually the most popular politician amongst black voters. Here it says Biden continues to lead with African American voters with 42% support. Now, one theory that I've heard online is that the reason for this is because people associate Biden with Obama because he was his vice president. And so, you know, they assume that, okay, he's as good as Obama or similar to Obama, <laughs> which is quite ironic because that's, I mean, the guy was working with segregationists. So I, I, I don't see how, and, and he also did that horrendous crime bill. I don't see how anyone would, would, would consider voting for him, uh, black, white, or otherwise. So that's one theory that I heard. The last interesting thing from this data, which I think is very indicative of the compassion that Bernie Sanders supporters have. Check this out, okay? When asked if they would definitely vote for their candidate or if they could change their mind, Sanders supporters are the most committed to their preferred candidate as 71% of his supporters said they will definitely vote for him, okay? And then another important thing here is that the least likely to support the nominee of the top candidates were Sanders supporters with only 61% reporting that they were very likely, which means that if Bernie Sanders is not the nominee, most of his supporters would still vote for the nominee, but they're the least likely amongst all the other groups, okay? So Warren supporters, Biden supporters, they're more likely to say okay and swallow the DNC bullshit and vote for the nominee. What can you say, man? you know, love him or hate him. Bernie Sanders supporters are principled and they don't just take any piece of crap that you throw at them. You know, I, I, I don't think that most Bernie supporters want Bernie. It's not a cult of personality. They want a true progressive. And as it happens, he is the only one in this race. So you don't really leave people much choice, do you? There you go. This is a very interesting poll. I think that from now onwards, I hope so at least, we are going to see a trend where Bernie Sanders is gaining in the polls, leading more in the polls, tying with Biden as opposed to falling back in third place, which is what we were seeing in the last two months, right? With Warren coming in second place right behind Biden. Sometimes I think she was leading even in some polls, right? I think Warren's support is basically going to start slipping now. I don't know why. It's just a gut feeling. Again, I'm not a poll truther. I don't really care for them. But, um, you know, if you look at the real hard facts, who is getting the most donations? Who is the most individual donors? Who is the most volunteers? Bernie Sanders. It's not even a competition, man. He blows the others out of the water. They don't stand a chance. So all the mainstream media has is the polls. That's, like all, that's all they can grasp on. Because if they were forced to look at donations, amount of money raised, who's showing up to the rallies, they would be screwed. Because no one is showing up to Biden's rallies. Some people show up to Warren's rallies, but it's not comparable to Bernie Sanders. I mean, come on, man. So do you see what I'm saying? Anyway, I think what was more interesting, what is very, much more interesting than the actual poll results is what we just looked at, at the data at the end, which says a lot about Bernie supporters. They're aware of police brutality, of the systemic oppression by law enforcement. They are not going to swallow any candidate that the DNC throws at them. This is very important. Okay, I think that says a lot. So there you go.